Hi, this is Skip at America, our engine company. Presently, I'm operating as the chief operating officer and probably chief uh, cook and bottle washer as well. We're actually building some engines in here uh, as well as doing the office work. But today we'd like to talk to you about building a new engine from an existing engine. You all know and love the basic four-stroke engine that we've had for probably over a hundred years. And almost every manufacturer has done about everything they can do with that engine, even up to turbocharging it, uh, doing valve overlap and advanced valve timing and on and on and on, everything you, you hear about in those commercials, and yet it still doesn't meet the new standards. AmeriCar Engine Company, we're going to take an existing internal combustion engine, a four-stroke engine, and turn it into a six-stroke. Six-stroke engines, well, those have been around for some time. Actually, several people have tried to produce them, but none have ever been commercially viable. And the reason they aren't commercially viable is because they require massive retooling at the manufacturing level. Ours does not. If you think with me for a moment here, you have to produce a camshaft to operate the valves anyway, and you have to have gears to drive that camshaft. All we're going to do is to slightly alter that valve train by altering the camshaft at the original manufacturer or if you want to install in an existing engine and also change the size on the gears. I know that sounds like an oversimplification, but we've proven it in small gas engines. As you can see, we're now doing it with a small diesel engine. Basically what our engine does is it dramatically lowers the emissions, which are going to be required here beginning now, obviously, and on the, all the way up through 2025. And how we do that is we will burn all the way through the power stroke. That will dramatically lower the unburned hydrocarbons, obviously. And at the same time, when you do that, you dramatically lessen the carbon monoxide produced. And because we operate at such a much lower operating and burn temperature, we actually lower the NOx, which is probably the most noxious gas. Side benefit of doing all that, and because you do burn all the way through the power stroke and don't stop at 40 degrees before it hits the bottom dead center like current engines do, you burn all the way through, you get a higher mileage per every unit of fuel burn. At the same time, we can allow for a higher RPM. Because we lower the speed of the camshaft, which is usually the limiting factor of the high RPM, you don't get valve float. So an engine that would typically only run at 6,000 RPM could now run at 9,000 RPM. What that does is give you much better torque at the higher RPMs. Of course, that has great benefit also of the lower RPMs because you don't have unburnt hydrocarbons hanging around in the, uh, in the combustion chamber. You get a lot easier starting, you get a lot lower idles, which lowers the greenhouse gas, obviously you get lots less vibration, and because of all that, and because you run lower camshaft speeds, you also have, let, have less maintenance. And at the same time, because you're getting more power and better torque curves per unit of fuel burn, you'll actually get an increased horsepower for every unit of fuel burn. What that does as well is you get a lot less carbon buildup on your valves, your pistons, your cylinder heads, the things that require a lot of maintenance and high dollar maintenance. We should be able to lower that with a six stroke. Now, we have proven in a small gas engine, we're doing it in a diesel engine right now. And because we're operating at such dramatically lower operating temperatures, we also now can increase compression ratios because you're gonna put the same amount of air into the cylinder, it's just gonna go in there cooler and it's gonna start burning at a cooler temperature. Well, if you put more dense air in the same cylinder, obviously you're gonna have a higher compression ratio, again, equating to more power. That's just kind of the basics for it. There are a lot more that goes into it, obviously, a great deal of engineering design work using a thermodynamics program and a mechanical program, but that's something that will be worked out and we'll be glad to sit down with you and explain it in detail, if we don't bore you to death while we're doing it. What we're looking for today, we, wouldn't, we need funding, a, actually a two-stage funding. Our first stage is about $200,000. And what that does is get us through the final testing and research and development on the small gas and diesel engines. And allows us to acquire two modern day engines. Not big engines, we're only looking to go for about a four, maybe a six cylinder engine, but to take this concept and put it in a modern day engine that you see operating on the street every day. 
and that $200,000 will get us to that point. Once we've done that and we've proved it up in-house, then we're going to take the, our design to a, uh, a laboratory, actually two in this country, the one we've chosen is uh, relatively close here in Texas, uh, and we need about $1.5 million to go through a complete build-out, test evaluation, and EPA certification of the six-stroke engine. Hopefully today that will give you just a brief explanation of what we're looking for and what we hope to accomplish. I thank you for listening.